Here we have a setup of a very basic electrolytic cell, consists of the battery, electrodes, and the electrolyte. First of all, we will need to start with the battery to figure out where the electrons come from. The shorter end will be the negative terminal. The longer end will be the positive terminal. The negative terminal for the battery is one which provides the source of electrons. So electrons come out through this end into the wire and to the electrode. For the positive end, this is where the electrons enter the battery. So we have a flow of electrons in this manner. The electrons that comes out from the battery will reach this electrode. You can visualize it as there's a gathering of electrons here. So this electrode will be negatively charged. Conversely, you can visualize it as the electrons are leaving this area, causing this electrode to be positively charged. So the negative electrode is connected to the negative terminal of the battery. The positive electrode is connected to the positive terminal of the battery. In the electrolyte, we have ionic compounds that are either molten or dissolved in water, aqueous. In these states, the positive ions and the negative ions are mobile, they are free moving. The positive ions, the cations, will be attracted to the negative electrode due to the opposite charges. And when they reach the negative electrode, they will gain electrons. Okay. In other words, they will reach this electrode and they will be reduced reduction will take place. The negative ions, the anions, will be moving towards the positive terminal, or rather the positive electrode, and they will deposit their electrons. They will lose their electrons. Now, in other words, in terms of redox reactions, they will be oxidize. How do we name these electrodes? There are several ways to remember. One way students do it is this electrode is negatively charged. It will attract cations. So they call this the cathode. This electrode is positively charged, it attracts anions, they call this the anode. Okay. But a more scientific way to, to remember the names will be to know that the cathode, reduction always takes place at the cathode. For an anode, oxidation always takes place at the anode. This will hold true even when we reach the topic of um, simple cells. So we have the flow of electrons coming from here, reaching the electrodes and discharging the positive ions. Over here, we have the negative ions depositing the electrons which travels up the wire and complete the circuit here. So this is how the flow of electricity and current is completed within an electrolytic cell. Okay. In subsequent videos, I will talk about this process using actual examples, molten sodium chloride and molten lead chloride.